Hey everybody, I'm Jamie Holt from Holt Physical Therapy and Performance Training. I got a special little project that I'm working on and I wanted to share it with you and, and have you follow me along if you'd like to. Uh, my mom is 45 years old and I am not a runner. And I have a personal mission slash goal to run a half marathon in 90 days. Um, there's a rock and roll half marathon in Las Vegas 90 days from today and I'm gonna do a weekly kind of uh, update for you on what the training was like what I did and just kind of how how I felt doing it you know showing how a non-runner can train and do a half marathon and you know, obviously I've got a big physical therapy background so we'll talk a little bit about what I do to help reduce the likelihood of injury and, and kind of the mental aspect too and just kind of how I feel through the whole process. So I hope you join me in this and I look forward to this as a, as a journey for all of us. All right, I just finished my first run um, of many, I guess, to get ready for this half marathon. And it's the first time I've run three miles in probably close to two years. And it poured rain half the way. Did three miles at 11, 14 mile pace. And um, I only stopped to walk maybe a minute and a half, two minutes total. It kind of felt pretty good actually. Rain cooled it off. I don't know if that was the guys telling me to stop running or to cool me off and help me out. But uh, that's the first run of many, and I'll keep you updated. And we'll see how we feel tomorrow. Let's finish my second three miler. A little bit easier without the rain. Uh, average mile 10.49, down from 11.14. A little rough on the quads today. I don't think I could have ran yesterday. I was way too sore. So I did my dynamic warm, dynamic warm up, hit mini bands, which we'll show you all some rope stretches. Might do a little foam roller tonight to be determined. Eat a good dinner and uh, see how I feel tomorrow. So day two, two, three mile runs in. It's the first week of me uh, starting my marathon training and I've done uh, two, three mile runs and I've got a long run coming up this weekend. And I'm being completely honest about everything that's going on here and because I think it's a good learning experience for everybody. I uh, got a little bit of a uh, left Achilles issue and left ankle issue and I'm gonna get it I had it checked out by my foot and ankle guys and uh, after running last night I felt good running last night this morning my left ankle and Achilles was absolutely killing me so instead of stopping which I'm not gonna do or, or pushing through it uh, I'm gonna get it checked out a little further get to get an MRI either tomorrow or um, on Monday so uh, the learning lesson here is if you've got something going on don't, don't wait. Don't try to train through it. Get it checked out by trained professionals. And uh, today I, I did uh, a lot of cardio cross training. I did an elliptical and uh, bike and did some hip stability stuff and some mini bands. And um, felt pretty good. And actually this evening my ankle feels really good. Like, like nothing's going on. But I still think it's my body trying to talk to me a little bit. So uh, I'm going to work on that some. And I'm going to see how, my, how I feel on Sunday if I'm going to do my run on land or if I'm gonna use the Alter G treadmill that we have. Uh, that's a good way to unload yourself uh, while training for a run uh, if you recover from an injury. Good morning, everybody. I just uh, finished my first run on the Alter G. Uh, four miles was supposed to do today, and I think I told you since my little ankle injury, I haven't had uh, my MRI yet, and so I wanted to run on the Alter G just to keep uh, things from getting irritated. And don't know how many of you are familiar with the Alter G, um, but I'll show it to you here. Uh, so it's a it's an unloading device. Uh, it's a, a treadmill that we can take off up to 85% of your body weight uh, when you run. I ran today at 85% of my body weight, so I ran, uh, like I said, for four miles. It took about 35 minutes, um, so I displaced 15% of my body weight. I had no issues with my ankle at all and again we'll see how it feels tomorrow and uh, I'm gonna finish doing my hip stability stuff and, um, and and go from there so again it's end of week one of the journey so I did three miles Tuesday three miles Thursday and then I did four miles uh, to this morning and next week it's scheduled for a 3.5 3.5 and again four or five I'll have to check what my what my schedule says um, and I should have an MRI sometime this week and uh, that's it. Hope you had a great weekend and I'll stay in touch with you next week.